So I want to talk to you a little bit today about interacting with the Word of God. We know that it's alive, that it's uh, sharper than a two-edged sword, and but oftentimes we make an inference that we know how to interact with the Word. I was in a conversation with a person that just was saying, real honestly, I'm, I'm, I kind of get bored when I'm in the Word. Um, for a long time, there's been uh, an approach to the Word that's summarized in an acronym that I want to talk to you a little bit about today. The acronym is SOAP, S-O-A-P. It stands for Scripture, Observation, Application, and Prayer. It's not just some knowledge-based uh, process. It actually is a place where we invite the Holy Spirit to awaken us to the Word. And so it's taking, say, three verses of Scripture out of uh, any Bible passage you would want. This morning I was out of Colossi Colossians chapter 1. And uh, just it's just taking the Scripture and actually writing it out word for word. So translating it from your Bible uh, onto a piece of paper. So you're writing it down. And as you're writing it down, you're starting to observe things. Things are going to start to stand out to you. Your heart's going to be quickened. So that's the O. It's the scripture, and then it's the O is the observation. What is it that you're seeing? What is it that you're sensing? And then that's going to move into the A, which is the application. Uh, well, how does this affect me? How does this affect other people? And then it moves uh, into prayer. It causes us to move into praying for ourselves, praying for other people, it's a great way to bring life in this hour into your times with the Lord. And so I want to encourage you to soap a little bit in this season. Slow things down. Take 15 to 20 minutes and take a deep breath. Turn some worship music maybe on in the background and read a few passages of Scripture. Write it down. Observe and apply and take it to prayer. And here's what I think is going to happen inside of you, you're going to find an increased capacity of building up in your inner person. And I think that maybe boredom turns into excitement, uh, kind of lethargy turns into joy. So I would encourage you with that. SOAP, S-O-A-P, in the Word of God over this season.